I like this one. You know, it's it's fucking hell, man. It's, it's starting to get better and stuff, but I was I was I was sore. Uh, so yeah, New Jersey, they they basically don't want you to go to the gym, but you can go to the casinos and have no problems with that one. You know, the governor wanted to keep. Oh the yeah, gym. New Jersey is probably one of the worst states. Yeah. Oh, he, he wanted to keep the uh, gyms like fucking closed the whole time. Um, that's 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 what was going on in there. I'm like, man, this fucking dude is ridiculous. But um, yeah. Other than that, um, let's get this show started. We're going to be basically talking about all things Xbox and PlayStation, despite the fact that this is a PlayStation centric uh, channel. Um, at the end of the show, we're going to be doing, uh, you know, guess the uh, price for the PlayStation 5 when it releases. I want to hurry up and get this video out there so it could be valid, truthfully. So, uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you liked or disliked about the video. And if you liked it, uh, so it would be greatly appreciated. Um, so, uh, get, put a like on the video, too, just to make sure the algorithms of YouTube is favorable to me. And if you call yourself a, you know, supporter. But the news came out with the with the Xbox uh, Series S. It was leaked yesterday. I'm not sure if it's a control leak or not, but it was leaked for for sure. Um, it's going to be two ninety nine. It's a four. You know what? Let me let me put the game. Let me you know basically stand behind the uh, this newspaper thing. It was uh it's a four teraflop system. Um see what else it got. I got a I got a looks. Have a little look see. Uh it has ten gigabytes of um of, of system memory versus five and uh Xbox Series X has. It's supposed to be at uh fourteen forty P and up to hundred and twenty frames per second. Supports the direct X ray tracing, variable shading, uh, v variable refresh rate, low latency. It has a 512 gigabytes of SSD, uh, 4K 4K streaming, 4K upscaling. In addition, you know how they say that the Xbox has like I don't know, I think like four, four, five hundred uh, uh, gigabytes, gigabit. I think this is gigabytes actually. Well, the way that this is split. It's eight gigabytes that's running at two hundred um and twenty four gigabits per second and two gigabytes, I guess that's for system memory, that runs at fifty six gigabits per second. Um so that's what's going on with with that. So what do you think about the specs, honestly? Whole hum. That's what I think. Um you know where does this put Microsoft to you? I should say um, as well. I I really feel like this is a it. I I I would say it is the appropriate way to go about it when you know you're not going to be able to really compete with Sony. Uh, I I say that in it, it's kind of like the idea of the hand in the cookie jar, you know. It's like they many as uh, their competitors, but they're going to make sure they at least grab a few in the process. Um, if you look at you know the the price comparison, uh, you know you got you know the baseline is the 300 one. Of course, that's the that's the S, uh, 499 for the X, which I guess that's the enthusiast version maybe, or maybe that's the one that's supposed to compete with the PS5. I don't know. Um, it. And then it's cross generation, you know, and like you said, the 1440p and it's four teraflops and all that stuff. Um, it, it really, it's kind of a head scratcher, you know. I mean, if you actually look at the stats, like it's a noticeable, it, it's a noticeable decrease in kind of overall performance, you know. When, obviously, when you look at 
uh, you know, um, the uh, Series X and then what the PS5 is supposed to be pulling off. Um, I I almost feel like it's maybe maybe the, the, the Series S is designed for filthy casuals, honestly. Like, I, I really feel like it's just something that, you know, you have a demographic of people and, and they like to play stuff from time to time, but they're not really into it. Um, so maybe that's their attempt. Maybe they're maybe they're attempting to try and you know uh, take people away from the PlayStation market that are kind of casuals, I guess. And perhaps by having this kind of cheaper baseline console, you can just kind of grab those you know non-serious or, or non-habitual uh, gamers. You know, have See, yeah. a, just a theory, but. One of my boys, he he was uh, Thrash. Uh, he was in one of the uh, podcasts and stuff like that uh, a long time ago. But he was under the impression that this was going to be like a Game Pass uh, system, and that it was going to do nothing but streaming. Which I told him, I was like, dude, like w working for a cable company, we're nowhere close to doing that. You know what I mean? If you had, if you had enough brain cells to rub together, you'd realize that. We do not have the infrastructure for that here in America. Well, know? there's 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 Stadia, Stadia, there's that. Yeah. You know. There there are a few locations, a few very 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 select locations in the United States, but the only the only country right now that could come close to supporting a system like that or infrastructure, is probably Japan. You know, off the top of my head. So. Well, I told him I was like, this is for like the Fortnite, you know, people, you know. I want to do Fortnite and don't want to pay the next generation. But then again, you can argue the motherfuckers can play Fortnite on the fucking PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, really. Well, it's also cross-generation, too. Yeah, um, so it's like, I mean, but I, I imagine if you want to buy something. But then I think it's going to be absolutely ruined by marketing. You know, Microsoft went directly to the power narrative. You know what I mean? And then they don't want to say what the teraflops are for this system because they know that it's low. And that they, they were saying that 12 pure teraflops and, you know, it's just, it's, it's, their marketing is all over the place. And I think that's going to mm -hmm. probably ruin the Series S. You know what I mean? No one's going to, I, I should put it like this. If you have a, if you have a really beautiful woman and a mediocre woman and they're side by side and, you know, one of them you got to kind of, you know, wine and dine, and the other one you kind of, you know, you, you won't. But you have to take this bitch out in public, and she doesn't look that good. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, be, due to them being so vain, would pick the pretty one in wine and diner. This is the same situation. It's just not going to be... This is it. Like, I think their marketing pretty much destroyed it. They wanted to go with the power narrative, and that's what they got, you know? Uh, the, the the question here though is what is the purpose of this damn system? What what is it? You know, and like I said before, I feel like and you said too. You you say that they basically want to sandwich the, the they want to cut cut the place Sony off on two fronts, three ninety nine, which I still think is expensive. You know, for what it is, regardless of if it still gives you, you know, the mm -hmm. um, uh, ray tracing and all of those features that. Basically, I, I swear it's going to be 1080p typically and 1440p for like simpler games. They just won't tell you that. Uh, and then they have the enthusiast one, which is the Xbox Series X. So uh, it's just, which we'll talk about the PlayStation 5 later and its pricing and stuff like that. Um, like I said before, the way that they designed the PlayStation or the Xbox, they have too much, what is this, uh, silicon complicated. So it's going to be very hard for them to shrink and 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 lower the price for that so they had to come up with this 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 as well and obviously it's not the newest and greatest so they can't use the series x for this either so either way the design looks ugly by the way like absolutely tra trash um pizza hut made fun of it and so did oreo honestly once on, on twitter <laughs> i mean it, it is called the xbox so you know but there's no ingenuity there's no like they didn't even think of a design it's like what the fuck is this ugly ass thing people want to make it's fun of it's a man it's not a box i don't know what that is people want it's to make a box. people want to make fun of the uh the playstation 5 saying it looks like a router i thought they were a fucking router than 
whatever portable grill that you have in Japan, like or whatever the fuck you want to call it, a wash machine. The, it looks the PlayStation ugly. Five looks like an exotic, uh, you know, especially rare, you know, very few models produced, like European exotic car. Honestly, like it, it, yeah. it looks it looks far out. So, like looks... a Lamborghini Aventador or or uh, you know some shit like that. Yeah, you know, we'll talk about that too later. But, you know, to, to wrap it up for the Xbox, I really do think that I feel like their marketing is going to basically kill the Series S. Um, it's definitely for Game Pass. I think EA combined with the Game Pass as well to give it some more, um, some, some, some more, like, value. But the rate that it's going, I don't, they, I don't think so. I don't think that they got this, this covered. There's so much demand for the PlayStation 5 that Sony apparently doesn't even fucking care if they release the price or not. Now, they did say that they're not going to say anything about the PlayStation 5 this week, which today is the anniversary for the first PlayStation, by the way. It was released in 94. And consequently, I didn't know this, but Dreamcast released 09, 09, 1999. So they tried to do the same thing, capitalize on the numerology or whatever the fuck it is and fail miserably. Regardless of the matter, um, it's just, uh, you know, it, it, this looking at the price structure, be, because a lot of people thought that it was going to be expensive, a $600 console um, for, for the Xbox Series X. And it turns out it's not as expensive as what people think, which means that there's something in that system that's not that's basically shortcut it for sure. That's number one, because Microsoft is not going to absorb too much cost like they did the last time. Number two, the last thing I want to say about this Xbox is that there was a lot of fans that were shitting on the the the, the, the PlayStation Pro about it being 1440p and a true 4K you know, experiences on the um, Xbox One X. And lo and behold, you have an actual fucking 1440p system and people are, are praising it. I don't know, guys. You got to make up your mind on what you want to do. You, you're, you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. You know, but we're going to talk about the PlayStation 3 or 4 3. Jesus Christ. You know, I'm living in a fucking <laughs> pass. <laughs> living in a fucking pass. Boy, slip, huh? <laughs> <Whips>. <laughs> we're going to check, talk about the PlayStation 5 next. Okay. You know, the last one didn't record. Uh, okay. Anyway, we're going to talk about the fucking pissed off. I'm just letting you know how angry I am right now. We are going to be talking about the PlayStation 5 and we're going to try to make it as quickly as possible we're going to divide it into a couple of different sections um basically if is the playstation 5 in danger um with this the, with this series s um you know basically when are they going to re, re reveal the pricing for the playstation 5 how much is going to be you know we're going to talk about those things and to get started um is the PlayStation 5 in danger, in your opinion, Terry, with this two-tiered pricing for the play, for the for the Xbox Series? No. Why not? Uh, an astute no. It is not in danger because I think, quite simply, if you, if you kind of look at what the Xbox is trying to do versus what Sony's trying to do, um, I, I think. Sony, you know, they, they learned a valuable lesson with, you know, the mistakes they made with the uh, the PS3's uh, life cycle, and they have done so well with the PS4, and I think looking at the PS5, um, you know, we, when you look at the, uh, the create function um, that they've introduced and all the patents they have there, when you look at what they're doing with the controller itself, you know, and all its little bells and whistles, um, the, the, the Sony PlayStation, instead of just being this, or the, the PlayStation 5 specifically, instead of just being like, oh, hey, we have good graphics, you know, or hey, we have ray tracing or whatever, it feels like a true evolution of the entire uh, gaming experience as a whole, you know, um, like an actual, it, it, it's, it's kind of simple to just kind of have a, a game that looks better and, and maybe, you know, re relatively speaking in terms of how games play, 
there hasn't been much advancement. Now, there has been in terms of, you know, graphically, right? But if you just kind of look at what the PlayStation 5 is is uh, is going to do, uh, it really feels like it's a it's it's a uh, it's a complete kind of gaming experience as a whole instead of hey here's our new system hey it has better graphics you know whatever. Um, so you're saying that basically they are bringing something new to the table which Microsoft isn't. Yes, absolutely. Sony, what Sony's done with the PlayStation Five, it's it's clearly going to be more than just the next PlayStation with better graphics. Uh, there's clearly more going on there uh, when you when you know we talk about things about loading times, uh, not just in terms of loading between levels or the complete absence thereof, but also you know the from actually starting your PlayStation and actually starting your gaming experience. You know that's supposed to be uh, very minimal. Uh, also, um, you know Mark Cerny, you know of course he did his deep dive talk. Um, you know they talk about you know how they kind of render things and and you know what's in the player's field of vision so on and so forth. Um, it, it really seems like there's, you know, an advancement of the overall gaming experience instead of just. So let me you know, just hey, so let me just those. tackle that on tackle that as well. It just seems like they were watching the gaming industry, and were just like, what are the banes for the industry? Loading times were fucking annoying. Um, contextualized controls. You know, that's something that they can add in via the, uh, not the haptic uh, feedback, but the adaptive triggers, really. So you can feel more of the game. Uh, also, advancement with 3D audio. Things like that. Not just a prettier looking game, but things that are more immersive is something that Sony is trying to target. And I believe that they put their, they, they bet on the, they bet it on the right horse. You know what I mean? So... You can have how how much with the more is the Morse law how much be, better could the graphics <laughs> be? You know what I'm saying at this point in time. It you know how much? Are we talking about you know 4K? I mean everyone wanted 60 frames a second and now the the goal post post has moved to 120 frames per second and it's like come you know what I mean? Eventually you're not gonna notice the difference. Just like 4K you're not gonna notice the difference if you keep going higher and higher. There's Something else you got to do. You have to do something else. And I feel like Sony is ahead of the game. Even when it came to checkerboard rendering, everyone laughed at Sony. You know what I mean? Um, for being 1440p and then checkerboard it to 4K or 1800p or whatever the case is. Uh, people were laughing about that. And now everyone's just talking about NVIDIA's DSLL and, you know, these new ways of reconstructing the image because of the ray tracing and stuff like that. You know, even with ray tracing as well, that's not really revolutionary either. You know, you can pretty much get similar effects without, you know, having to worry about, I mean, what happened to have ray tracing and stuff like that. Anyway, there's actually a PlayStation 4 Pro and an Xbox uh, Series X game, or a, a One X game uh, that's going to have ray tracing, which is the, cri the Crisis uh, 1. Uh, so that's going to have ray tracing. Um, so it goes to show you that there's going to be really cool ways of doing it, even with you know, these consoles supp supposedly not being able to do ray tracing. Uh, ray tracing is just not a big, big deal. It's other things that's going to be making a big deal, like the create button, as Terry was talking about. What is that going to be in, ab about? I kind of feel like you're going to be able to not just create GIFs or clips, but you're going to be able to create experiences. You know what I mean? Maybe create your own missions in a game. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if, if the development, the developer kind of allowed for that situation, maybe be able to, you know, like we record videos on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox respectively as well. You'd be able to record or basically take sections out of the game and send it to other people to see if they like it or whatever the case is. It's going to be, who knows? That being said, when are they going to release the information on the PlayStation 5, the, the, the Xbox, or I'm sorry, the price? <laughs> uh, when, do you, well, when do you think? Because they said this I... week, I feel like they're going to stick to it. Uh, this, this week, they said that we're not going to have any, we just want to set expectations and tell you that we're not going to have any PS5 news, and I feel like they're going to stick by it regardless. I, I, I don't. I don't think that they're going to release anything um, immediately after, uh, 
what a Xbox has revealed with their uh, price point. Um, I I'm kind of holding to the idea that I think um, it, it, it probably may be you know probably three or four weeks away. Like you obviously want to do it where the new cycle is kind of at its minimal. You know that way you can grab as much attention as possible without people being distracted by other gaming news. Um, but I, I think it's going to be a press event that it's not just going to be oh here's the no no just console. just 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 yeah. when just when um, when uh, I'm probably going to say probably beginning of October I think I'm gonna you I'm do gonna... realize that next month the the month after that the PS5 is going to be released that's way too late mm, is it. Yeah, it's fucking too late. Comes out, man. And the PS5 <laughs> is going to come out. No, they're going to come out November, just like fucking um, Microsoft. Well, what if What if it comes out like? It, no, it what if it comes out it like isn't. November? It, it's you know, going. It's, no, it's so. not. No, no, <laughs> no. They're not going to do that. Uh, but well, I, I don't. I don't see them doing anything uh, in under two weeks. So I think that I they're going to do it. I tomorrow. think that they're going to do it. No, they're going to stay true to the word, and they're going to do it next. Uh, week, just to be extra petty. I but feel like are that's you saying they're gonna do. do it next week because they said they won't talk about it this week? Yeah, exactly. Week? That, that's exactly why I'm saying. That. Nah. I feel like how much you want to bet on there? I bet you a whole ghost of Shishima. Okay. Oh, never mind. I didn't know you were gonna say okay <laughs> like that. <laughs> you said too petty. I, 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 I mean, it, it's possible, but I don't think. It's a you know you're you're playing a complicated game of chess here. Like you don't you they don't want to have some kind of knee jerk reaction to be like oh the Xbox are talking about the price tag we heard them do something like they run risk though but they like run that, risk to piss the people they're going to piss off their fan base by not saying anything. So I don't think it's going to be I think they're going to stay what, true by waiting an extra week or two to say hey hey here's the price of our console yes you know, games yes. You know? Well, yes. I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation Five because they waited too long to tell me about it. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, I'm not saying that they're not gonna purchase it because we 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 all know that they are, but you don't want to piss them off either and think that it's really a chicken game and it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 my that's my argument. I don't I don't think that that they're they're gonna you know um, wait that long. And by the way, I know you guys think that that shit's skillful. I'm actually flying that clipped plane winged a winged plane and gta3 mm -hmm. so anyway i know a lot of people probably didn't know you could do that but not like this but either way um yeah i, I think you were saying this before the other video fucking didn't even record we spent 15 minutes talking about nothing apparently anyway apparently. um it's going to be an event they're not going to just say a price and just release it out like that because they said no news of the PlayStation 5 this week. Yeah. And today is Wednesday. So either they're going to do it over the weekend or I believe it's going to be fucking Monday. They, they, and, they got to, because they haven't really done it yet, but they, they really got to get into, uh, you know, a little more of the controller, but also specifically like what, the PlayStation is going to offer within its operating system, like the yeah, you can't the show the hap you can't show the haptic feedback, you can't show the adaptive triggers. This is this is definitely going to be something about the uh, user interface and mm -hmm. and how it works. Uh, you said something earlier about the Demon Souls. They're going to show that. Um, I, I feel pretty confident they're going to definitely going to have to show some gameplay that yeah, you know, to make you want it, to make you really be like this is this is worth it. And worth you the wait. Look, look at it like this. All the people that have played all the Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 and, and uh, Sekiro, you know, and Bloodborne, they, now you got all these brand new, like, Souls fans that probably have never touched Demon Souls, you know? And yeah, now you're going to remaster, like, the, the kind of original Souls game that started that whole series of, of, uh, of, of you know, Souls. Uh, from, from software. Well, here's the thing, too, like, don't forget that there are different modes to m most of the games that Sony has showed as well. 60 frames per second for Miles Morales, um, the Ratchet and Clank game, and the Souls game. You're going to be able to play them in 60 frames. And if you don't really want to fuck with them, those modes, you can definitely play, you know, them with ray tracing as well, which Souls, the, the uh, Demon Souls has. So does Ratchet and Clank, and so does uh, Miles Morales. 
Um, I think they're going to show a small gameplay footage of um, Horizon Zero Dawn. And I do think, I didn't see this in the last portion of the video, um, that they're going to probably show like the new SOCOM or whatever Guerrilla Games has been working on. To top it off, they're going to definitely give you the price at the end of this show. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. Your thoughts on the price? Mm, I'm 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 still gonna go with the unpopular opinion that I I'm gonna say both of them are gonna be around the five hundred dollar price range. So see uh, the, the, the the digital version and the disc version. I'm probably gonna say probably fifty to seventy dollars apart. Honestly. No, that's one thing that we can agree on is that they're going to be fifty dollars apart for sure. Um, but what I believe, I've watched the Mark Cerny's uh, 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 deep dive, and he literally said that. Um, oh, before I even give the before I even say that, one of the things that I think that's going to be in this event is how backwards compatibility for the PS4 is going to be, because a lot of people misinterpreted what he said originally about backwards compatibility he stated that um the, there's gonna be 100 games that's gonna be boosted mm -hmm. everything else is gonna run off of like the old kernel of operating system and you know it's gonna run that way but for the boosted titles you know, basically, the PS5 was just too damn fast for for the co the the engine to handle and the code. It was it's specified for that particular speed, and if you make it go faster than that, it's the the, the whole program breaks down. Be that as it may, um, what I believe um, is they're going to have a showing of how the backwards compatibility works. Uh, hopefully, they have backwards compatibility for PS3, 2, and one. I doubt it, but I'm still hopeful. Keep hope alive, you know? But I think that after the show, they're going to have the pricing. And I feel like people need to go back. When I watched the Mark Cerny's event, it was nothing but how they cut the cost. That's all he really talked about. There's a lot of cost cutting. It's not a full terabyte system. It's doing A25. You know what I mean? On top of that, they don't use as much silicone or silicone silicone silicon um for the chips which means that it's more it's a simpler chip which means because it's simpler your yields are lower so less error and and more profit um you know you don't have to worry about manufacturing all these all these chips and stuff like that only for it to you know uh oh i can't see my plane anymore what the fuck Oh, that's not good. Oh, there you go. Um, so they chose 36 CUs instead of the 52 variant or 56 variant, whatever it is, because again, they're trying to cut cost. The RDNA 2 architecture it it works friend friendly with the um the 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 uh overclocking. You get a lot of bang for your buck, apparently. And that's what they kind of looked at. And, you know, like I said before, they do have a lot of other things that kind of helps with data transfers and um, input output signaling and stuff like that. And, you know, memory scrubbers and all that other stuff that would add money to it or cost to it. But I still think that it's, it's still a simpler system, which means that it's, it's going to be a cheaper system. And the price that I would give is going to be $400 for sure and 350 respectively especially since Microsoft already gave their hands, but they're not going to say it this week for sure. That's definitely not what they're going to do. Let me know in the comments, though, what your pricing, what you think the pricing is going to be. And whoever is right, the first person that is right, um, hit me up on all things Sony on my, on my Twitter account, like DM me and let me know who you were in the, um, in the uh, 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 YouTube comments. Like show proof of that. Um, of course, you got to be a subscriber of the channel, a long time subscriber, of course. But if you're right, long time subscriber, I will give you a ten dollar PS or uh, ten dollar Amazon card uh, if you're accurate. But uh, that's all I really had to do or I had to say today. I think I said enough, and I'm already fucking tired and hungry because this fucking video didn't save. But whatever. But anyway, 
Um, that's all I got, and uh, hopefully I see you in the comments. Toodaloo.